Hey guys, this is Kitsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, I hit another freaking cutscene. I wanna take a break. I already recorded, I think, like five episodes. Stop making me record more, goddammit. But anyways, we cleansed the wind, and we made it to the Gale Shrine. High fives all around. But all done. Now the divine wind's back. I bet the big windmill will... Start turning. That thing looks old. It looks it's gonna shatter. Go. And everyone's gonna go. Oh God! It's everywhere. Help us now! Yes, yes, yes. Success is the name of the game. Why we play? Cause we can. We're starting to spin. Round and round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. And man, that is one awesome wind. Sure hope this drives away the evil down in Kusa Village. Uh, c celestial technique or brush, whatever. No, it's no surprise there. And uh, yeah, that doesn't look fun. Let's do this. Click, 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 click. There we go. It's a horsey with an arrow sticking out of it. What the hell? Oh, candle. Yay! Run! See you, Biscuit, run! Haha, we're faster, you suck! That's right, we rain on your parade. Kazagami, sweet. Ah, uh, Amaterasu, am origin of all that is good and mother to us all. For too long, I, Kazagami, god of wind, have walked the shadowed path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to man manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. Ooh. Knock him around and throw him down. Windblade! I bet it was the divine wind that brought the wind god back. Well, no shit. Now you can use Kazagami's Gale Storm Brush technique. Just draw a mark of Kazagami to create wind. How the hell am I supposed to know what that is? Let's try it out. Hey, that windmill looks like it's a good target. Draw the wind mark like you did on the swirling evil air. Let's try to make the windmill spin. Okay. Hey! Shut up! There we go. And it goes the opposite direction. Wow. That's kind of weird. Uh, what a refreshing wind, though. Nice, cool breeze. And that door opened when the small windmill started spinning. You spin me right around, baby, right around. This wind is nothing to sneeze at. You should try this brush technique on a variety of things. Okay. This is no time for us to rest on our laurels. What the hell does that mean? I suppose that means ass, probably. The big windmill sending the divine wind down to the village. But that crimson helm still lurks somewhere in the Gale Shrine. And that serpent crystal Waka mentioned has piqued my interest. Let's turn this place upside down till we find the both of them. Amen to that, brother. Alright. Man, things are looking nice. And actually have. Oh, crap! Chest up there! Chest up there! Chest up there! Ugh! Wait, is that a chest? Oh yeah, that is. Ooh, ooh, we got a heart piece. Yay! One more, then we get a new heart container. My treasure senses are tingling, or rather my pirate senses. Although I believe that to be the same thing. So, let's... Go down. Whee! Maybe we can get rid of this now. Hmm. Wait a second, there are treasure chests. I bet you could put fire out using water now. Oh, without using water. Okay, sweet. Whee. Sweet. We get the dungeon map. Map displaying the structure details. Check via the map screen. Cool. Finally, something useful. So now we jump. And, and, and. Oh, I was trying to make it to the second floor. No, no, oh, I'm almost there. Well, we gotta go to the second floor anyway, so up we go. 
Oops. Yay, up we go. Because there was a chest up there, and I am one for treasure, so I want it. I love me loot. Me pirate booty. But man, this place looks really nice now that all the evil's gone. Then again, it applies to most places anyways. Oops. And we get... Stray bead! Cool, very worth it, I suppose, then. wonder how many we got. I suppose we can check, can't we? Stray beads. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of ninety-nine. Okay. Me senses a massively long ass collectathon afoot. Hopefully, I find more of them, which I probably will. I already know I'm missing a good one or two of them. That I know where at least where they could be. So yeah. So let's go. And. I'm pretty sure we can move this now. Because you know we got the power of the wind. Hooray. And we. Ooh! Is that another heart piece? Oh my god, I want it. Oh, I get it. You have the right idea, Ami. But I think you're making the wind blow in the wrong direction. Okay, toward the windmill. Whatever. And I go. Hey! Shut up! Don't diss my wind blowing. Oh, oh, toward the windmill, I get it. Hey! There we go. How dare they crap talk my wind blowing. And we get... Come on. Oh, brush tips. Cool. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna read that now, actually. I was like, maybe I'll read it later, but... I don't know, I think I could use it. So it's been a travel guide. Oh, there it is, brush tips. I will attempt to outline for you a series of brush tips. The brush is guided by the divine hand. See the holy smoke that sometimes erupts from the brush tip? The different colors represent the element of subject involved. Holy smoke offers a vital clue and allows you to act on instinct. Draw thicker lines than usual by moving the Wiimote toward the screen. This technique comes in handy when filling large areas with ink. But that's not all. The size of the object affects their power. Well, that's probably why my lines are so, so thick. I'm like three feet from the goddamn screen. Because I'm in a small cramped room. For example, smaller cherry bombs appear further away. While those drawn larger appear closer. Drawing from uh, above makes it easier to place them where you'd like. Also, Gale Storm's power is directly affected by the drawing size. Worry not, as the size does not affect the amount of ink consumed. Thank God. Careful use of celestial brush techniques based on the circumstances is what separates the experts from amateurs. And I am obviously an amateur, of course. So now let's go forward more. Yay, what the hell's up here? Ooh, ooh, treasure! Yay, I love... Whoa, check out all these massive hanging scrolls. Looks like they enjoy the wind you brought back. That's for sure. Be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets much stronger. Well, I want the treasure, so screw you. Wait, there we go. Get the treasure, get the treasure, get the treasure. You got pearl, hooray. They didn't blow us away, it's full of crap. Ooh, ooh, I see something I can grab on it. Yay! More treasure! We get Infinity Stone! Hooray! And I heard like a small animal die or something. Yummy! Looks like we can jump up here and climb up more. See how good I am at this. I'm taking my time because patience is virtue and I don't have much of that. No doubt. Oh, there's a chest down there too, but I want to see what's up here first. Ah. Okay. Treasure is awesome. That is a fact. That is the basis of life. Uh. Hmm. 
It's over there. I suppose we can go over there and see what's going on. Ooh, another treasure chest. Cool. We get Steel Soul Sake. Yay. And, um, I want to go down there now. Because treasure is awesome. I wonder what happens if we get all the treasure. Maybe we get blown away. I don't know. Oops, wrong side of it. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, good. Ow! That's not cool, man. We get. Like where it's set. Oh boy. More loot. Uh, but you know what? We're out of time, so next time on Let's Play Okami, we will go further and hopefully get all the loot in this area. So I will see you then.